ever happened to you that you're out somewhere, maybe the bar or the coffee shop, and you see a guy who's coming right up to you looking like he's going to talk to you, and you're thinking, yeah, okay, I could talk to someone, you know, get to know someone, make a few friends, have a conversation, and he comes right up to you and he says, Nice shirt, can I talk you out of it? That's right, I would like to talk about pickup lines. That, by the way, was a real pickup line that's been used on me, so are all of the following. Can you grab my arm so I can tell my friends I've been touched by an angel? Do I know you? Because you look a lot like my next girlfriend So, do you have a name? Or can I call you mine? <sighs> actual attempts by actual young men at picking me up. What? Now it just so happens that I actually am a psychology student and I have studied pickup lines. So, without further ado, I would like to present to you some of the actual scientific research that has been done on the effectiveness of pickup lines. Now, okay, you can probably tell by my reaction that these pickup lines did not successfully work on me, but do they work at all? Do pickup lines ever work? Well, in a 1989 experiment, they had male and female confederates of moderate attractiveness go up to people in a bar and try three different types of pickup lines. Type number one, the direct approach. In this approach, they'd just be straight up. They'd go up to someone and say, Hi, I'm really embarrassed about this, but I'd really like to meet you. Or, it took a lot of nerve to approach, so can I at least ask what your name is? Type number two, the innocuous approach. This is the short and sweet approach. It involved lines such as, Hi! Or, What do you think of the band? And type number three, the cute, flippant approach. And this is definitely, I think, the flirtiest of the three approaches. It includes lines such as, But I can outdrink you, or You remind me of someone I used to go out with. The results of the study are quite interesting. With the direct approach, the I'd really like to meet you, I'm a bit nervous one, uh, two-thirds of women responded positively and 81% of men responded positively. So fairly, fairly positive overall with both genders. The innocuous approach, the hi or the what do you think of the band, had somewhat similar results with again two-thirds of women responding positively and 100% of men. That's right, 100% responded positively to a woman saying hi to them. But it's the cute, flippant approach. The one where it's somewhat flirty, the one where it might be taking a risk a little bit that had the most dramatic results, where only 19% of women responded positively to that, and again, 100% of men. So the moral of the story, in the words of my social psychology professor, is that if you're a heterosexual woman, it doesn't actually matter what you say. So I don't know how I feel about that. I like to think that the things that I say matter beyond the fact that it's just me, a woman, who's saying them. But while I think over that one, I'll just leave you with this one thought. If I had a nickel for every time I've seen someone as beautiful as you, I'd have five cents.